Once again, the Cobalt Quiet Tech air compressor has started to become really loud. So I'm gonna take off the heads and clean in there and see if that improves it. This is what the piston cups looked like and why it was making so much noise is because the air was leaking out the side because this piston cup is torn. It just got really thin in some places, especially since these, these pistons kind of rock back and forth inside of the cylinder. They wear more in certain places than others. Like they seem actually pretty worn on the side. This one wore prematurely here. This one over here is still okay, but it has some thin areas too. So this is after about six months of use. It has a three-year warranty and this compressor turns on about two to three times an hour to start to start compressing again during the workday. We try to turn it off at night but we don't always remember so sometimes it, it cycles at night too. Sometimes it runs a little bit longer duty cycles if we're using a lot of air but nothing extreme. I don't mind replacing these piston seals. It's not difficult to take apart. It's uh, not difficult to replace them. But the problem is when I called Cobalt and who is associated with Lowe's, they said that they don't provide that as a replacement parts or a kit. They don't even have the motors as a replacement part. So their best suggestion was to return the compressor. And I've already done it once because it had the same exact issue and the same symptoms and it doesn't make sense to just keep returning compressors and getting new compressors when this is actually a very easy fix. So I'm going to try to find a replacement piston cup material that fits inside a 70 millimeter cylinder. The wear from the cup material is all visible on here. So another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to add air filtration to the end of this where this fan is sucking air in to try to keep the air that comes on the bottom side of the piston as clean as possible and reduce wear there. Of course you have these air filters coming in on the intake but some air filters on the bottom wouldn't hurt too because the bottom is open. So I'm not going to plan to buy another Cobalt brand Quiet Tech air compressor again because Cobalt is not going to be able to supply the parts that I need to repair this air compressor and their response is to go and return it within the warranty period. So it's got a three-year warranty just to return it. And okay, that's fine, but then you're trashing this compressor basically. And also it's a pain in the butt to carry this big heavy thing to the store and buy a new one and a waste of time. It takes me far less time to just take the head off with eight screws and remove these two screws and replace this cup. So I'm gonna try to find some cups. What I'm worried about is what happens when the cylinder wears out. Am I going to be able to find a replacement cylinder? This seems like a pretty generic air compressor motor, so I suspect that I should be able to find some 70 millimeter cylinders that fit this. Pretty hot, I've been saying. Boom, right off. I mean, we did put extra heat, but still. This is the top of the piston, and this is the old piston ring that's worn out. So the diameter where the piston ring goes around measures 54.3 millimeters. Piston ring measures about 54.5 millimeters ID. The closest thing I was able to find was this UXL air compressor piston ring that was listed as like 56 millimeter ID or something, something slightly bigger, but I was hoping that we could get this to fit well. And so this one measures 56 millimeters ID. Yeah, it's a tiny bit larger, but I think it should still work just fine because there's it'll get compressed in there as long as it stays centered. Couldn't find anything that was exactly the same size as this. And the thickness measures about 0.85 or so. I think that's a compressed thickness. It probably started out at one millimeter 
which seems to be a standard. So this one is one millimeter uncompressed. This screw had some red Loctite on it, which had to be broken by heat using a heat gun. So when you reapply it, you need to put some Loctite on there again, probably some red Loctite. Before I reinstall the screw though, I'm gonna clean the threads out with a wire brush. After the threads have been cleaned using a wire brush, I'm gonna reapply some red Loctite to this. So next time you go to take this apart to replace the piston ring again, you're gonna to have to use heat on this again to break the bond of the Loctite. Make sure it, I already squeezed it a little bit to get it to stay up and see once you get it on then you can rotate it and just make sure that the, the cup stays up. I was only able to buy one of these for right now so I have to wait until t I think the next one's going to come tomorrow but we can put it back together and use it. Okay, so I've only replaced one piston ring on this side right now on this cylinder. I haven't replaced this one yet because I'm still waiting on that part. This one was the one that was most damaged, but I can tell that there's some squeaking noise coming from this one. So this one's worn to the point of needing to be replaced also. But this one sounds much better now, just like new.